Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be doing something really simple but some people still don't know how to do that so we're going to help you do that. Save a little money we're going to re be replacing the headlight bulb, the low beam in this 2011 uh, Chevy Traverse. So stick around and I'll show you what it involves. Really easy. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to be putting in, just a standard bulb, just the basic headlight bulb. First thing I did was turn, we're replacing the left side low beam, which is the driver's side. So I turned the, the wheels all the way to the right, so I got a little room to work here. And inside of here, I don't know if you can see it or not, lighting's not that great, but right there's a Phillips uh, Phillips head screw and then right up here is another one okay now some of these have a t20 torx bit or headed screw um, if you don't have one of them you don't have to go buy one places like uh, AutoZone I know uh, I think uh, Advanced still does, they, they have a tool loaner, they, they'll loan you a tool. What it is, is you buy the tool, and when you're done with it, you take it back and they give you your money back. Uh, the reason why they got to charge is, in case you don't bring it back, the tool's paid for. But once you do, they'll give you your money back. Um, I'm just using one of these stub noses here, because it's what I grabbed, I wasn't sure how much room I had here. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull that screw out, and the other one out, you don't need to see that. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, and we're going to peel this back to get up inside of here to the headlight. So hang tight, and I'll be back with you once I get these two screws out. Okay, I got the screws out. Now we're just going to get our finger in here. Now we're going to pull this piece of plastic back. What I'm going to do is I got a coat hanger here, and I'm just going to wire this coat hanger or wire this back here. You can use a a uh, a bungee cord if you got one. I don't have one. So I'm just going to use this. You may not need it, but I'm trying to get to where you guys can see this a little better. Okay, let me get this let me get this wired back so you guys can see it. If I was doing it just without filming, I would just read it reach up in there and, and do what I gotta do. So let me get this taken care of here. Okay guys, so sorry my camera shut off. Um the battery, this battery's it's got the big battery and it. it's kind of loose, so uh and when it shuts off I lose that clip whatever I was filming so when you take that the cover off that round cover that you're gonna see me put back in and the bulb when you take that cover off you turn it an eighth of a turn towards you and it'll pull out the same way with the bulb just reach up in there grab that plug turn it an eighth of a turn towards you and it'll pop out so sorry I didn't get that on footage or on film but so I wanted to explain that to you. Now you're going to see it, kind of see it going back in. Um, you put it in, turn an eighth of a turn the other direction, and the same way with that cover. So, sorry I missed that clip. Uh, so, that clip, it just plugs in, and like I said, there'll be two fingers. Turn this one-handed again. That you'll... All you'll do is squeeze them two fingers together and it releases that clip off of them little ears there. 
See his little ears? Now you gotta be real careful, <coughs> excuse me, when you put the new one in, you don't wanna touch this bulb. If you touch this bulb, it's gonna burn out on you. I've seen them burn out immediately. Looks like that one even has the tip kinda of broke off of it compared to that one. Now you can use latex gloves, but if you ain't careful and you touch them too much, the latex will actually cause these to burn out prematurely too. So I just use one of these and I just try my damnedest not to touch them. Okay, so I'm just what I'm doing, just inspecting the bulb right now, making sure it's the same. This is an H11 bulb, so right there, H11, which is my low beam. Okay, so I'm gonna get this out of the package and I'm gonna reach up in there and then all you do is you plug that plug back in. You can't mess it up. There's only one way it'll go because of these ears, okay? And then you wanna put it put it back in and turn it an eighth a turn, boop, like that, you'll feel it. Uh, so let me get that in here. And then I'll show you once I get it put up in there. So there it is, it's back up in. All I did was push it in, turn it a quarter turn. Sorry I can't show you that, but you'll feel it when it goes in and then when you turn it, turn it clockwise, turn it, you know, just just an eighth of a turn. Did I say quarter, but it's about an eighth of a turn. Now, this thing, this is our cap. We're gonna make sure we got our seal on because water, guys, water will, will cause these things to blow out fast. They get hot and they will burn out fast. Okay, so we're just gonna put this on here. And like I said, like I told you, remember where this goes. This actually goes on like that. But if you look at these tabs here, you got two short ones. The short tab right there. There's a short tab right here where my thumb is. And there's one down at the bottom. One down at the bottom is the long one. So you just put this in there. You'll feel it go in and just give it an eighth of a turn. Okay, now I don't know if I can show you that. I'll try. And I don't think you're going to see it. Let me get above you here. Okay. So uh, I'm trying, guys. It can be fiddly, but just remember, you, you, you can't mess it up. There's only one way it'll go, so you just keep turning it, and you'll feel those, those tabs lock in. I've seen a lot of guys take these out and leave them out, and they don't, uh, and they wonder why they keep replacing headlight bulbs. Okay, I felt it. Now I'm just going to give it a turn. Just like that. Now it's up in there. I'm gonna show you that again because I don't think I had it right. Okay. It's in there. So like I said, you just you're gonna feel it. I know you guys can't see much, but I'm sorry. There. You push it in, you're not done yet. Now you turn it clockwise and it'll stop. You can't overdo it. And there you go. That's all there is to that. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. This is what I did. Don't want to scratch your wheels, but this is coated. It's all right. Um, just use a bungee cord or whatever. So let me get this put back on. Self-explanatory. Just push it back up in there. Start your little screws. There's where one goes there. And then the other one is right there. So let me get these screws in. There it is. It's on, it's working. This one's not on because that's your high beam. So there you go. Now, if you have, I think it's, oh my God, I'm wanting to say 2007, 2009 to 17-ish. If you got a front end like this, if your headlights are kind of shaped like that, they're all pretty much the same other than the screws. I know, um, like I said, I know one, one screw head is a Torx 20, a T20, and Another one is, where you at? <laughs> is a Phillips. So it's gonna be one of those. 
and it's fine just make sure everything's in there nice and secure and you're good to go oh, I thought this one was out for a second I was like no <laughs> okay there you go guys this uh, this happens to be a 2011 by the way uh, Chevy Traverse so um, like I said if you got this body style it's, it's probably going to be pretty much the same now you're not going to be able to get up in here and change them there's too much stuff here so you got to do it that way um, real easy guys thanks for watching I appreciate it there you go monk now you got both both eyeballs again <laughs> We'll see you in the next one. Shea Brother, Myth Man, Legend, I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.